Now in this lesson we're looking at solving equations graphically. Examples. The graph of y equals x squared is drawn below. By drawing straight lines on the same graph, find solutions to the following equations. The first one we're going to try to solve is x squared equals 9. Now, because we've given the graph of y equals x squared, we're going to try in our equation to isolate the x squared. Already is in this case. So we're thinking about the line y equals x squared, and the other side, 9, we're going to consider line y equals 9. Now y equals x squared is already drawn for us. y equals 9 will draw that in on the diagram, which is a horizontal line, cutting the y-axis at 9 there. Now when we solve the equation, we're looking at the points of intersection. So it occurs there at x equals minus 3, so that's one solution. The other point of intersection is there, and that occurs when x equals to positive 3. So two solutions there. Therefore, x equals to minus 3 or x equals positive 3. Part B, we need to solve x squared minus x minus 2 equals 0. So we have the graph of y equals x squared, so we need to isolate that x squared firstly. Let's write that down, and then we write equals, because what we're going to do is going to take everything else to the other side. And when it becomes to the other side, it changes the sign. So the minus x becomes plus x, the minus 2 becomes plus 2. So the x squared, okay, we have it on the left side by itself, so we're considering the graph of y equals x squared, and then the x plus 2, we consider the graph of y equals x plus 2, and work out when these two graphs meet. Well, y equals x squared already drawn. We don't need to do anything further there. y equals x plus 2, though, we need to draw that line. Now that's a straight line, as such, alright, if you're not sure how to draw that line, then you'll need to review some previous work, or certainly draw up a table and plot a few points. But we get that line there. Now, we'll label the line, we're after the intersection points. There's our first one, and looking down it occurs when x equals minus 1. So that's our first solution. Our other intersection point, have a look, there it is, and that occurs when x equals 2. So our solution there, x equals to minus 1, or x equals 2. Terrific. Our second example now involves a cubic curve. So the graph of y equals x cubed is drawn below. By drawing a straight line on the same graph, find a solution to x cubed plus 3x minus 6 equals 0. Well, there's our equation. Let's write that equation down firstly. We're dealing with the graph of y equals x cubed, so that means in our equation, let's isolate the x cubed. So we're going to leave that. We write x cubed equals. We're going to move everything else to the other side, making sure we change the sign when we do. So it becomes minus 3x plus 6. So the x cubed is by itself. We're going to consider the graph of y equals x cubed, and the other graph we're going to consider y equals minus 3x plus 6. We need to graph each one. Well, y equals x cubed is already graphed, so we move on. y equals minus 3x plus 6. Let's graph that one. That's what it's going to look like. Straight line. And we're after the intersection point. There it is. There's the intersection point. What's the value of x? So we look down on our graph, reading off our axes. You can see that it's somewhere between 1 and 2. Certainly not right on a whole number this time. And you need to, as best you can, estimate from your graph what it is. In this case, I'm saying that x equals to 1.3, and that's rounded off to one decimal place. Excellent. Our third example here, we need to complete the table, then draw the graph of y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 1. So let's complete the table. Firstly, when x is minus 1 there, substitute that in, we get... 3. When x is 0, we substitute that in, and we get that y is 1. When x is 1, by substitution, we find that y is minus 1. When x is 2, y is 3. And finally, substituting x equals 3 in, we get that y equals 19. Now, 
the table is complete. Okay, if you were to plot each of those points and draw a curve, it would look pretty much like this. Okay, so that's the graph of y equals x cubed minus 3x plus 1. Next step, solve x cubed minus 3x plus 1 equals 6. Well, we can see that we've got the graph of x cubed minus 3x plus 1. And there it is, okay? It's already by itself, so that's good. We're going to consider that graph, and we're going to consider the graph of y equals 6. So that graph's already drawn. y equals 6, that. We draw that. We need to insert that into the graph there. Horizontal line through 6. Now, label it, and we can see that it has one intersection point, so there'll be one solution for this equation. Again, we need to look down where is the x-coordinate, certainly between 2 and 3, and doing your best to estimate what it is, 2.3. Okay, it's 2.3 to one decimal place. Part B, solve x cubed minus 2x minus 3 equals 0. Well, this one is a little bit tricky, so you need to really be thinking here. This is the graph we're working from, okay, x cubed minus 3x plus 1. At the moment, that expression is different. It's very different. So what we need to do, let's write down the graph x cubed minus 3x plus 1. Then the x cubed, we need to balance it out. The x cubed there already got it. We don't need to do anything to adjust. We've got minus 3x though, and we should have minus 2x. So to balance it out, to balance that minus 3x out down the bottom, we'd need to add x, all right, such that we still get that minus 2x. Now we've got plus 1 in our equation, where we should have minus 3. So to go from plus 1 to get down back to minus 3, we need to subtract 4. And that all equals 0. So because we're dealing with this graph, x cubed minus 3x plus 1, we've now got it in our equation. So we isolate it, write it to one side. Everything else, though, we're going to change the side. Right? When we change the side, we change the sign. So it becomes 4. Okay, the negative 4 came over, become positive 4. The x came over, became minus x. So now we've got our equation by itself. Okay, that's the graph. We've already graphed that. So we can string that graph. We've already got it. y equals 4 minus x is the other graph we need to do. So we've got that graph. y equals 4 minus x is a straight line with a negative gradient. There it looks like. And we can see that it is cutting at one point. It has one intersection point. And trying to do our best to read off that x value, it's almost 2. It's not quite 2. Almost 2. In fact, x equals 1.9. And that's been rounded off to one decimal place.